volunteer, uh, just raise your hand um, and I will call on you for questions. Reed, go ahead. Hey coach, uh, it seems like the game kind of hinged there uh, on the fifth inning and things didn't really go your way. Um, can you kind of talk me through uh, the events of that inning through um, through the Kiefer's hit to center and then onwards? Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, we've had a tough time getting things going and, and uh, when we do get uh, something going, it seems like we, you know, we shoot ourselves in the foot, but you know, really uh, the base running part there. I mean, you, you, did, you really can't blame either guy. Uh, both guys had a, had a, diff, a responsibility to make sure that, you know, it doesn't, that doesn't happen. Uh, I thought on the front end of Clayton Peterson, uh, knowing what the, the rule is with nobody out, we got to get over to third base with one out uh, that he needed to, to hang out there and potentially go back and tag if he catches that ball to move up to third. So he did a good job. Uh, Josh could have got a little closer to second base, if not, you know, having one foot on second base and watched the, the play happen. And he, he would have easily been able to return. And then kiefer has got to run with his head up to make sure that he's not running past uh, that the lead base runner there. So, you know, that was a, that was a turning point in the game. And I think what we're seeing is that uh, it, it's some of those key points like that, that we just do things that, that's uncommon and, and uh, that we know better, but we just kind of get caught up in the moment. And, uh, you know, things started spiraling from there. Ben. Steve, just kind of the nature of the way this series went, does it kind of show how, how close you are um, as a team? And, and, and how frustrating is that to be as close as you are and not able to get over the hump? Yeah, I mean, that, that's my frustration is we are – we're not a terrible team. And if you look at our record, uh, you would say that we're a terrible team and, and we're right in there. It's just that we're making some mistakes with some guys that, that shouldn't be making those mistakes. I mean, we've been playing a fairly uh, older lineup that, that has, you know, that's played the game for a while that they, they don't have a lot of experience, but I think we get caught up in the emotion and caught up in the, uh, you know, just, just the game without really staying locked in and, and something bites us there. But, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, we got to continue to find uh, some answers on the mound, but uh, I, I really like uh, the, the options offensively. If we can play this, uh, you know, play games as a team the rest of the way out and, and assume roles and take, take responsibility for the roles that we're going to have, uh, then I think we can really uh, start putting together something and finish fairly strong down the stretch here. Natalie and then Reed. You know, kind of on that question, you mentioned the frustration there. Is, is there frustration in the locker room as well? You know, do you get that feeling from these guys that you guys are just so close? Yeah, I mean, the fact that guys want to win. I mean, you know, we, we realize, you know, nobody likes to lose. And I think there's frustration at, that you can see that we're right there on the cusp of it and then something goes wrong. And, and, and the last thing that, that uh, I definitely hope it doesn't happen where we start pointing fingers and, and blaming certain guys or, our coaching staff or whatever the case is on, on why we're losing games. You know, we're a team, we're a unit, we stick together. And that's what I want to see these guys do is stick together through these tough times. And if they can do that, uh, then, you know, we can still, there, there's still something to play for, you know, you play to get into the conference tournament and then you hope that you're playing your best baseball at that time. And, and that's, that's really what we have left to play for. And uh, I, I hope that they can buy into that, that, that that's what we're, we're shooting for. What did uh, today's game and, and this weekend series mean as far as uh, postseason goes for you guys? Well, I mean, the one thing that we wanted to do is we had three home series left. We wanted to win all three home series and uh, felt that that was doable. You know, definitely felt like the Georgia team coming in here. Yes, they're, they're a solid team, but felt like uh, matchup wise that we could match up really well. And, uh, and win this series, I mean, the, the first inning didn't start the way we wanted to, and we had to play from behind. Uh, and then oh, was the sixth inning there as well was, uh, you know, a, a, a battle for us to give up those, you know, we give up four runs in the, both first and the sixth. And, and that's the difference in the game. We've got to learn how to, to, to damage control there and, and only give up two runs in situations like that. But, um, it's, uh, it, it's all still right there. I mean, if you, if you want to look at it and, and you go back and you look at, uh, how many wins did it, did the 11th and 12th place team have to get into the conference tournament 
uh, we're on, we're still on pace. I mean, uh, realistically of, of winning one game, a series and finding a series where we win two games, we're still going to be on pace on what it takes to get into that conference tournament. Now each year is different. And this year may be a year that, you know, you don't have two bottom dwellers with, with really, uh, terrible record. So, you know, it could come down to the last day without a doubt. Natalie. Could you touch a little bit on Zach Heise's performance? You know, maybe what, what more you want to see from the bullpen in the future as well? Yeah. I mean, I, Zach's first inning was really taxing. I thought, and he, and he accumulated a lot of pitches and he battled through that inning and, and, and missed a location to, to give out, to give up that little two out, uh, you know, double down the line, which cleared the bases you know, that, that was a tough blow, but to see uh, a young guy like uh, Zach battle back and give us, you know, four solid innings after that, uh, the, the, the lone run he gave up, he just fell behind uh, to a very good hitter and had to lay a fastball in there and he hit a solo home run. But just like I've told, you know, our, our whole staff, told Coach Corral, told the staff, like, we're not going to get beat by solo home runs and we got to continue to to challenge uh, whenever we fall behind, they earned it. We got to continue to make good pitches and, and go at hitters and make them uh, earn everything they get. And then I thought, you know, potentially we just, you know, it, it's this, I thought Zach did a great job. I, I think we pushed him a little hard to, to go back out in the sixth and, and get there. And, you know, that, that's kind of shame on me. I, I let uh, my emotions get to me and, and probably, uh, you know, things sped up at that point and we just weren't uh, ready to make a switch there in the sixth, like, uh, you know, it's always easy hindsight to say, yeah, you, you should have made the switch. But just knowing what he went through early to get to the sixth inning, um, I thought we were a little late on the trigger there. Reed. Hey, Coach, <clears throat> you went with, uh, went with Tre Trevor Austin today at second. Um, can you kind of explain the thought process of uh, moving away from man today? Yeah. It the lefty starter and you know what what we knew is that uh it wasn't a starter it was an opener today uh so going to start with uh making sure that the the defense and the, and the right-handed hitter there we thought that uh potentially that this guy would get to the bottom of the order and that would be it so he'd go through the order one time uh we would evaluate it in the middle of the game once he left the game uh we knew that they would go to a right-hander uh second and you know what i wanted to do is have belt and Holt and Mann sitting right there uh, and be able to insert them anywhere I wanted to uh, insert them and, and create some offense there at, at that point. Uh, and, you know, the, the righty didn't really stay there uh, that long. And plus the righty that they brought in was a guy that matched up really well against right-handers for us, advantage to us. He was better against lefties, so we didn't make that move there. But uh, I, I think Trevor's a heck of a ball player, and I think Trevor's earned opportunity to continue to to play some second base for us, and that's kind of the plan. I mean, the bats that he uh, that he took today is very similar to what we saw coming out of preseason, and that's why he was an opening day starter for us. So I like I like what he can bring to our club, and he's going to have a really good future if he can stay the course and just continue to take at bats like he takes it. He's a solid defender, and and um, you know, he earned, he earned himself an opportunity to play some more. All right. Thanks coach. Thank you.